Welcome to the tutorial for accessing and using the Smarter Balanced Practice Tests. This video will walk you through the processes needed to set your students up to take the practice test, either directly from the Smarter Balanced portal or via the Secure Browser. Information about the practice tests can also be found in the Online Field Test Administration Manual available on the Smarter Balanced portal. Practice tests provide a preview of the Smarter Balanced assessments and include items and performance tasks for grade levels 3 through 8 and 11. Although they do not encompass the full range of content that students will encounter in the Spring 2014 field test or in the operational assessments, they can be a useful tool in preparing students for testing. There are several benefits to using the practice tests. For students, the practice test is an opportunity to interact with the test delivery interface before actual testing begins. They will learn how to navigate the test, what item formats look like and how to answer them, and how to use the tools and features of the student interface. For tech coordinators, running the practice tests using the Secure Browser offers an opportunity to determine how well their school's network infrastructure supports testing for various numbers of students. It will also help them to ensure that they have the proper equipment, such as headphones, available and functional for testing. Before beginning practice tests, ensure that all students who are testing are using a supported device with a constant, high-speed internet connection. Testing cannot be completed otherwise. Students using tablets must have an external keyboard, and students taking ELA tests or those with the text-to-speech accommodation must have headphones. The text-to-speech feature is only available for practice tests when using the Secure Browser. How to access the practice test without using the Secure Browser? Open a supported web browser and navigate to the Smarter Balanced portal. Click on the Practice Tests button. The welcome screen will appear. The page contains administrative information about the practice test. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the Student Interface Practice Test button. If you receive a web browser warning, click the OK button to close the pop-up window and consider using a supported browser to run the practice test. If you use an unsupported browser, your testing experience may be compromised. Next is the Please Sign In page. The login information will be pre-populated for you. Click the Sign In button. The Is This You page will display. Select your grade using the drop-down, then click Yes to proceed. The Your Tests page appears next. Select the practice test you wish to take by clicking on the Start link labeled with that test name. On the Choose Settings page, you may set any of several accommodations. Choose the accommodations you need and then click Select. If you do not require accommodations, click the Select button to continue. The screen will flash with Waiting for TA Approval. Then, the Is This Your Test screen will appear. Verify that the information in the pane matches your selected test and accommodations if applicable. You may need to scroll to read the entire screen. If the information shown is correct, click the Yes, Start My Test button. The Test Instructions and Help page will display. Review this information to be sure you understand how to access help if you need it during testing. When you are ready, click Begin Test Now. The test will begin. 
Using the tools at the top of the screen, students can access help features, change the text size on the screen, save their work on interactive items, pause, or navigate through the test. At the item level, students can use the item tutorial to see how to answer an item, use the notepad, and flag items to review later. You may want to have your students complete practice tests for both math and ELA to ensure that they are exposed to many of the different item types they will see during the field test. How to access the Secure Browser Practice Test Using the Secure Browser for practice tests is a good way to determine your network's capacity to support testing various numbers of students at the same time. Before beginning practice tests, Ensure that all students who are testing are using a supported device with a constant high-speed internet connection. Students using tablets must have an external keyboard, and students taking ELA tests, or those with the text-to-speech accommodation, must have headphones. You must also have the Secure Browser software installed on each testing computer, and make sure that any automatic updates are turned off during testing. If your student is taking an ELA practice test, make sure they have headphones and that the audio on the computer is functioning properly. Be sure to close any applications you used to manage the audio settings before allowing students to begin testing. Students will have an opportunity for a sound check before testing begins. Explain to students that they will be testing in a secure environment. Any attempt to access other applications or functions on their testing computer will cause them to be logged out of the test. To access the practice test using the Secure Browser, first, close any applications that are running on the testing computer. Launch the Secure Browser using the icon on the desktop. You will reach the Please Sign In page. The login information will be pre-populated for you. Click the Sign In button. From this point forward, the test will function as demonstrated previously, except that the security features of the browser will be enforced. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. To view again, restart this tutorial. For more information, view the Online Field Test Administration Manual on the Smarter Balanced Portal.